This is Anderson Penn's podcast, episode 384 for Wednesday, March 3rd, 2021. This is Brian. This is Lisa. Good morning. <laughs> so, you know... Should I just laugh and pretend it's funny? No, no, no. Hang on, hang on. Okay, I'll this, hang this, this, is, this is a serious conversation. <laughs> you know how a few years ago, or like maybe 10 years ago, um, it was kind of taboo to talk about um, people with like Botox injections and plastic surgery and things like that. Now no one even raises an eyebrow. Oh my God. <laughs> Colorverse Inc. Blasted into our store. You like that? Oh, that's nice. Blasted. Launched. We just launched it. We um, what do we got here? We've got, so these are, you know, I'm just going to go with confusing. I'm okay, just going to put confused. it out there. I'm confused right. because big. some boxes have two 65 mil and a 15 mil um, bottle. Okay. Some of cool. them are different colors. Some are the same colors. Then you have 65 a 65 mil single bottle and you have a 30, 30 mil, mil bottle. single bottle. Okay. Now, Colorverse does have some shimmer inks. Okay. They call them glistening. Glistening, all right. So that's cool. Here's um, one right here. Lots of fun colors. Brain. So we have these in. Uh, I think we're getting a few more. Yes. Okay. Yes, we are getting some more in. So these are a slow launch. That's not how NASA does it. <laughs> in fact, I, I have to admit, this is the first time we've actually seen, it. seen these. These came in while we um, were gone. So we'll talk about that in a minute. All right. But uh, they look pretty cool. Right um, but uh, lots and lots of different colors. Yep. So you'll see stuff about Colorverse coming out uh, gradually as we uh, even uh, as sift, we sift get through to them. it. Yeah. Yep. Um, also in is the newly resurrected, newly revived Private Reserve. Okay. Um, you may or may not know that uh, Private Reserve Inc. Uh, the owner passed away. Um, Gosh, mid to late last year yeah. and um, Yaffa the distributor of um, Monteverdi, Conklin uh, a bunch of other things um, ended up somehow acquiring the rights to this and uh, so now they have um, revived it they say that they are using the same, same. formula yep. from the same manufacturer they did find who was doing some of the colors not all of them which is why they do not have, for example, the fast dry at the moment. Right, right. Um, but since they share this same ink manufacturer, they are um, sure that these colors will be um, exactly exactly the same formula, yep. exactly the same color, um, and now they have a little more control over quality and all of that. Yep. So the, many, many of the private reserve colors are back. So now they're in a, a 60 mil bottle. Yes, so they do have different packaging. So a new a bottle. Bit, a little bit more squat. A new label, a new box. Uh, so all of the packaging yep. has been revamped. I like it, it has a, the name. Yes. Widely. Yes, so you can always tell as a, distribu yep. as a a retailer, that's a nice thing. <clears throat> yep. Um, so those are here. Uh, so those of you who were uh, worried that you'd never be able to get your favorite private reserve color. This one right here, avocado. I know, that's a gorgeous color. Oh I do like that. <clears throat> um, and Yaffa certainly uh, has had a lot of success with their Monteverdi yeah, inks. Yeah, absolutely. And so uh, it's nice to be able to have faith that these will be um, safely made and have a company that stands behind it. Yep. So yeah. we're, we're happy about that. Much broader distribution, too. Yes, so, absolutely. Um, which, which makes it easier to get. You know, sometimes we had issues where we just we couldn't get ink. Because it wasn't take, available. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. wasn't available. So. And so now a much bigger company, um, deeper pockets, more staff. Yep. And, yep. and so it'll be, um, good. it'll be a good tribute to what two owners ago, yep. to what uh, Private Reserve was when it, it started. Uh, loops. Great. I like loops. I use loops every day. I think you're looping. <clears throat> you do. Uh, you do. Excuse I me. I do. So we have sold uh, pen repair loops for many, many years, um, and these are a good value. These are certainly not pretending to be the top of the line. Oh, this is nice. Eschenbach yeah, or absolutely. whatever it is you've got, um, your little visor thing. 
No, these are these are but fantastic. But these are good. Yeah. These are good. Uh, I will warn you. I wish I had this this weekend. With the um, 3060 lighted loop, it's LED. This thing is really, really, really yeah, make bright. Sure, you got to make can, sure to get it the right way. Otherwise, like what I did. You'll blind yourself. You turn it on and the lights yeah. go in the wrong it, way. Yes. So. And I was impressed the first time we saw that mm -hmm. with mm -hmm. just how damn bright this thing is. <laughs> it will hurt you. Yeah, so we've got we've got a, a 10x, we've got a, a 10x singular, singular. We've got a 30x singular, which is good for real, real detail, yep. or you're, you're trying to inspect a crack or an imprint yep. or something. Uh, a 3060 lighted, um, which is the biggest thing here. Yep. And then a 10 and 10 and a 20. A 20 double. Yep. So we should make cool. like opera glasses. Yeah. <laughs> You'd have to have one messed up prescription for that. Well, yeah, but um, so we just want to mention these. These are really great uh, if you just well, want the, it. The 10X is, is fairly new to the family. Yes. We used to carry them and... We got it once years ago as a mistake. Yes. And yeah, it then, wasn't intended. But right. So. so anyway, loops, uh, if you do any kind of repairs at all, you do anything with vintage pens, uh, you need a loop. Um, I have several. Penlux Masterpiece Grande in the Snowflake. That's pretty. So this is awesome. So this is a limited edition pen. And the big deal with this is now it comes with a 14 karat gold uh, Yovo flex nib. That's cool. And it is, it's got some nice flex to it. It's, it's, it looks like a great nib. Uh, we've been kind of playing with it at the shop and uh, they did a nice job. Great. And the nice thing with the, with, with this pen, so it's limited edition. It comes in fine, medium, broad, which is a new nib uh, for the Masterpiece Grande series. 1.1 stub and the 14 karat. So with the 14 karat, it comes with a special oh. box and special bottle of ink. A bottle of Manuo uh, Penlux Mo ink. Oh, that's a cool color. Yes, yes. So it's a nice uh, kind of a, a real bright blue. Great. Um, so that comes with the 14 karat. And of course, this is piston filler. Right. Um, so it's just fantastic, and it's a nice uh, um, oversize. It uh, is a big pen. It's 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 essentially it's it is one forty nine size. I don't have my one forty nine here, but it's the same size as one forty nine king of pen, um, and for a whole lot less money. Great. And and in colors other than black. Okay. So cool. if if you go with any of the uh, the regular nib options, and we do have other nibs, uh, other pens coming in. But uh, they come in a nice, just a regular, just a regular box. Standard yep. box. Uh, but it's it's different. It's blue this I time. I like that. Um, kind of frosted trim, neat cap band. Very cool. It's a it's a super cool pen. So very cool. Really neat. Limited edition. Um, we have an 388. <laughs> Do you need a pen? I I don't know. Well, oh well, I we'll talk about that. Um, <laughs> 388 pieces um, worldwide. Okay. So those are in. They're pretty cool. So check them out. Great. So last week, I acquired this little baby, and I am just like afraid <clears throat> to touch it and giddy like a schoolgirl. Show the box. Show the box, okay. show the box first. Show the box first. Because that'll be the, a big teaser. Retro Fifty One special box. I am super excited. Um, we acquired we. one. She says we. <laughs> like I, like I I'm ever gonna like I'm ever gonna use this. We always say we're talking about sharing pens. <laughs> <laughs> see what I mean? Funny. Yeah, see? We, we acquired. So this <laughs> came to me. Uh, it is one of the few uh, Retro 51 Machier pens. Look at that. I know. That's great. I'm so excited. Those are limited? Yes. Okay. There's a little, what's my little sheet say? I can get my glasses out. Ooh. This is the Yaling Cherry Blossom. Nice. And this is number... Well, I won't say what number it is, but what well, because then you'll be jealous. Well, yeah. What, what's how many? How many did they make? There were five hundred and eighteen. Okay. And this is a fairly low number, so cool. it makes me happy. But yeah. yeah, this is just really, really. That is nice. I know. You know, that's. I hate to say it, but it's nicer than some of the other maquille we've seen on on other much lines. much more expensive <laughs> pens. Yeah. Now, um, gorgeously done, beautiful. I am giddy. Yeah. Do we know when that was made? To say when that was made on that card? Let me just drag that out again. Isn't that, isn't that important? I don't know. It doesn't say. I'm asking a legitimate question. I, don't I, do, not, I do not know the we answer. We can look it up. We should. I'm sure somebody will comment. Yes. And tell us. 
Yes, so the cherry blossom, absolutely gorgeous. I am just cool. over the moon excited. Awesome. I have one. Good for you. Uh, this past weekend, um, let's just start backwards. We killed the car again. <laughs> uh, well, we didn't really kill the car. So we, we discovered, we, we, we <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't want to call it a vacation, but we took Friday through Monday off. Yes. Um, I stayed in a hotel. You Lisa went and stayed in a hotel. <laughs> and apparently I went and played with pens. Um, but we took Friday through Monday off and drove about three hours. And on the way back on Monday, um, we have a VW. And so I, there's. I, I knew this going down. I knew we were in trouble. You did? Yes. How? You knew that that new thing was going to happen? No, oh, no, okay. no, no. So we have this. Glad we had this conversation. This. Um, <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. <laughs> What's the word I'm looking for? Dash light? Yeah, this, you know, check engine light came on, which honestly we've been waiting for. We've been waiting for. That one we knew about. Yes. Um, and I was, I just made a comment that, oh, since now the check engine light came on, we can finally <laughs> take it back to the dealer because it's a warranty issue, but they only will deal with it if the when on. the light is on. Yep. So it came back on and we're like, I just got done saying great, We'll have to make an appointment. And some other light comes other on. Light comes starts on. flashing. There's some word that this little phrase that I, you know, it flashes for two seconds and I can't read it. And I'm like, oh my God, it just, here's another light. And it says, all I got was one word. And um, luckily it was the right word. It was the right word, yeah. So um, we had that issue. And then we discovered basically on the way down that. Oh, we had no heat in the there's car. There's no heat in the car for a three hour drive in 30 degree weather. So. Yeah. And so on the way home, it was Cold a little chilly. Air. And it was the one weekend I decided to wear nicer shoes at flats, but no socks. My feet were freezing. It was very, very chilly. It was, so we're taking the car in today. So it's anyway. not coming home. So where do we go? What do we do? We went down. Um, I stayed in a hotel. And Union, Illinois, which is in the north third, uh, about three hours away, uh, west of Chicago area. Well, we stayed in Hoffman Estates. We stayed in Hoffman Estates, where the pen show normally is. Yes, and we actually stayed at the same hotel we stay at when we go to the Chicago yeah, it was show. Weird. So it was familiar. Um, uh, I had called in advance about all their COVID protocols, mm -hmm. and you know, we we really didn't see anybody didn't, didn't see at anybody. all. Contactless entry, and and it was uh, like it was cool. a ghost it was town, but yeah. kind of cool. Uh, it was, you know, for me, it was just nice to be not at home. Doing but stuff. still safe. Yep. I literally didn't leave the room. Um, so you did. Fred Crinky. Yes. Fountain Pen King of L.A. as he has been yes. coined. Yes. Owner of um, the uh, the Fountain Pen Shop. Fountain Pen in Shop in Monrovia, Monrovia yep. California. He passed away. Yes. Sweet, sweet man. Yep. Um, known for his his big laugh and his big smile Hawaiian and shirts. his Hawaiian shirts. So his family basically took everything from the shop. Um, and put it up for auction. So there was a two-day auction. Consigned it with a company outside of Chicago, which is yeah. why we went. Yeah. Um, I'm not That's sure. It's the we, only reason we went. <laughs> it was why pretty close. Chicago? Haven't figured that out. Because can you imagine dragging all that yeah, stuff they from dragged, California? You know, five display cases, five foot display and cases, and, and this crazy stuff. thousand pound safe um, that I was instructed not to bid on. Um, I was actually going to throw a bid in for like two thousand dollars or something, but it can you went... imagine if you won that thing? <laughs> I'd bury you in it. <laughs> you could. It was. It was like six feet tall. Um, and a thousand pounds. I know it's a thousand, but it has wheels. It has, <laughs> it has wheels on it. You all think I'm joking? He was like. We could get that safe. Wouldn't that look great in the it office? Would. We had a place we... for it. We had picked it out. We did. It would look great. It'd be behind the case. Never mind. <laughs> so anyway, so we went down. It was a two-day auction, and uh, there were actually very few people at the live auction. I would say there's Thank no, God. The, it is this huge, huge. Yeah. I don't want to call it a barn, but building. Um, and there were like ten of us. Yeah. I mean, it was a really wide open. We everybody got their own role, which was great. And your own table, and it, it reminded me of college lecture halls where oh, you've yeah. got one desk yeah. and there's somebody yeah, over it's here. Exactly how it was. And, um, um, and they were like 
way up on a stage and yeah. about, about 15 feet away. So, so big screen. Um, we did the, I did the preview. Unfortunately, I discovered when I got there at 8 o'clock in the morning that the preview had existed the entire week before. So we got down... On Friday, on Friday, early enough, we could have we gone. We could have gone. We were, we were there three hours early, but we actually took the trip. We took a nap and then took the drive over to the auction house. Just to we, see where it was. And we got there exactly at 5 o'clock, right. so we probably could have got in. But. So anyway. Well, if we'd known, then you wouldn't have had to get up Yeah, so I had to get up at dawn. Crack of dawn on my you know, <laughs> first day off, first Saturday off, and I don't know how long. A long time. But drive down, do the inspection. Who's the first person I see? Uh, Roger Wooten. And then Roger Wooten, who is the, one of the organizers yep. of the Chicago mm -hmm. show. You, you can't miss him. He's always got his hat on. Yep. Uh, and then five seconds later, Jonathan Velli comes in I love uh, from Bailey. Ohio. Jonathan's great. Um, and he's, he, he's, he's known as the pencil guy. Yep. Um, and, uh, and so we start doing the, the inspection and, uh, there's some really great stuff. So he, I mean, all across the board, Esterbrook, Parker, Maximas, uh, hard rubber, uh, Parker 46, uh, Schaefer's, PFM's, I mean, all sorts of stuff. Um, where do we start? Day one. Day one. Now keep in mind, I'm <clears throat> back in the hotel the whole time. Brian's got cash. Brian has <laughs> the <keys>. no chaperone. <laughs> Brian has the keys to the car, and I am back in the hotel room working on accounting. No, so this, hoping, just hoping I'm that not you gonna... will be well behaved yes. and not uh, completely spend your entire budget in one day. No, well, we should mention that this was also being held online yes. on three different websites and like everybody. In fact, I have my, my buddy Jason uh, and I were texting the whole time because it was hilarious. He was sitting in California yep. bidding and I was I was doing it. But, does um, Jason watch the podcast? He, he might. So. Love to <laughs> Rowan. Um, anyway. Um, so Brian. I didn't do too bad. So the, a lot of prices were really approaching retail for unrestored vintage. Yeah. Uh, every once in a while you get lucky, but you, you had to be careful because some of the descriptions I think were, were, were brief. So you almost had to inspect the pens. Right. Um, I bought a pen that ended up having a crack in it, but I knew about it because I inspected it. Right. It wasn't in the picture. It wasn't in the, in, the in the description. And that's where you had to be careful. Yeah. I think the, the descriptions perhaps were a little overly glowing. Uh, or overly and, optimistic. And, and brief. And, 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 to, and to be fair... Uh, there were like 2,000 things. Yeah, yeah crazy. The, the, the first day there were 500 and... I think 513 lots. Okay. So there were like a 1,000 something. Yeah. And there were multiples that had two, right. four, whatever. And the second day there were 543 lots. Yeah, I mean, So there's over 1,050 yep. lots. So it's a lot. I, I get it. Um, All right. So... Well, I'll just show the so whole. So Brian was pretty well behaved. I was pretty um, well behaved. He was pretty I didn't excited do too bad. about things. Um, here's my here's my take for the weekend, I guess. Woo. In the pens. Okay. Uh, a bunch of Esterbrooks. I actually did buy an Esterbrook. I have never, I've never owned. I've okay. never been able to find this, um, and it is an Esterbrook Phaeton uh, 300 desk pen. Oh, what's his face has some. Of Todd that. has yeah. some of those, and they were only I made in Mexico. Say his name, so. Well. <laughs> Uh, they're only made in Mexico, right? Uh, and I saw this in the I saw this in the auction, and I couldn't believe it. Um, it went for a ridiculous price, and uh, ridiculous good or ridiculous bad. That was good. I, I haven't didn't, seen the paperwork. Yet. I didn't. I didn't spend anything over a hundred, except for the one thing. Anything over one hundred and thirty dollars <laughs> a lot. Seriously, my my most expensive pen was one hundred and thirty bucks. Okay. Here it was. It's brown. <laughs> Uh, a Paul Wirt taper cap, very early. About a faded pen. Um, with an overfeed. Does it so have a nib? It, it has a nib, yes. Oh, it's got a nib. God. Yes, it's got a nib. Um, <laughs> well, you're upgrading. <laughs> uh, I picked that up. I also, also for the collection, this is the pen. This is a Century, which is which made in Whitewater, Wisconsin. Um, very short run. Uh, very hard to find any pens by Century. Uh, this guy here, of course, I had a crack in the back that wasn't disclosed, but... Um, sleeve fillet, which is really super cool. Okay. You actually rotate the whole barrel to get at the press bar. Okay. And the sack, and then you fill it from there. Cool. So, All right. Really neat pen. Uh, picked that up, and uh, the last piece I got was was this little Victorian piece. What is that? Uh, this is a Chatelaine um, pencil, 
and it's made by uh, Aiken Lambert, and it's a little jammed up. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but th there's a little lock mechanism up here, and then you put your lead in there, and then okay. if you wanted to, I suppose you could you could do that. Oh, there you go. So it's made oh, by Aiken Lambert. What are you going to um, do with that? Oh, well, it's made by Aiken Lambert. So I collect <laughs> Aiken Lambert things, and uh, it'll go in the, the Aiken collection. Okay. So anyway, that and the big news uh, for the weekend, the big... Big purchase that so this was, we're both excited about. We were both excited about this. Um, there is kind of a joke behind it, though. So we wanted the Fred's Binder of Estabrook Research. research. Yeah. Um, ironically, uh, a chunk of this giant binder <laughs> consists of is. printouts of every page of Brian's Estabrook.net website. So my <laughs> joke is we spent how much to get printouts get of print your website? My website. <laughs> uh, it also has uh, the article that I wrote for the pennant yep. uh, a number of years back is in there too. But um, so this is like half years anyway. It's well, yeah, it, it, sh it should go to me. Isn't it a copyright violation? Um, seriously though, I mean, it's this huge binder. Um, Brian first described it to me as this eight inch binder. And I'm like, they oh, make okay, maybe something? it's not eight inches. It's, it's like four, four. five. I mean, it's thick, though. Yeah, and it's the, full. What this is, if I can do it, maybe I'll do it this way, is it original includes... 1952. Can me help hold it? Yeah. All right. This is really awkward. Uh, 1954 uh, original catalog, Esterbrook catalogs, uh, price lists pretty much from 1952 going on. Here's one from 58. We actually discovered some things that we, as some fairly educated Estherbrook people, yeah. uh, didn't know. So were, that was really... I, mean, um, I must have sat for an hour and a half uh, Sunday in the night in, oh, in, 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 the, in, the hotel. in the hotel room looking through it. And there and was then in the car. a number of answers, number of questions that were answered just by... Looking through this. First glance looking yeah. through this. So this but, was really cool. Yeah. In the auction, um, we were getting close to... Uh, the slot coming up and and we were texting back and forth and i won't get into numbers but you know brian's like how high do you want to go and i'm like well we we have to get it i'm, I'm, I'm saying i want x and then like she, while i'm, I'm typing that to spend she's x. willing to spend 25 percent more so i'm like okay and then it, um, it gets ready to um to be the next thing up and i just start texting go 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 <laughs> and um it actually was very reasonable i yes. was very yes. relieved. Uh, those catalogs are exceptionally yes. rare. Yes, and they're all original. Um, the it's original not like a, a photocopy. So yeah. these are... They're all there. This is really um, cool. And, and many of them actually have pockets on the inside. So it's not just a cover. It's a cover with a pocket. And so then there's a letter from Esterbrook about new pens coming yep. up and what price increases mm -hmm. and uh, a business card from the Esterbrook rep, that was cool. uh, which is super cool. Yeah. And there's also, you know, notes on Fred's stationery um, that say, um, you know, need to order by or whatever. Right. So it's cool to have a little bit of Fred in there. And yep. um, and then also Fred's copy of the Fountain Pens of Esterbrook. And did Paul sign it? By Paul Hoban. And Paul did sign it. That's cool. Um, a real, real charming... Uh, well, Paul's a charmer too. Well, he is, yes. So, but, anyway, so, that was exciting. We're totally so stoked on that. Totally excited about that. And um, Brian got to meet uh, Fred's widow. Yes, yeah, Mrs. And Trinky. that was, was cool. Lovely, yeah. And you also brought back something from oh, Fred's shop. I did, and, and I didn't have it here because it's kind of large. Um, it's I not haven't huge. seen it in the daylight. It's, it's, it's a Carter's Ink tin. Advertising piece, and it's about I don't know. Is it a yeah, it's it's couple pretty big. couple two and a half feet yeah. high, um, and it's mounted on a wood back. So it's it's mounted on wood, and it has a, a gentleman uh, with a with a fountain pen, and he's dipping in the ink and in writing. And it's, it's looks super old. It's brown on yeah, tin, and it's, it's brown. it kind of looks like a, a weathered leather almost. It's brown. <laughs> it's pretty dark. <laughs> it's neat. Um, right. Because all the other things from Fred's shop were going for just astronomical prices. Yeah. And in this one, it was very we, reasonable. We, we really did want something that Fred had had yeah. in his shop. We, we didn't know him well, so I, I want to make sure that we're not 
yeah. overstating the relationship, but we'd see him every year in LA. We'd chat with him. And he was just, he was a charmer. Yep. He was yep. a charmer, but sweet, sweet man. Yeah. It was long. I mean, it was, it was 10 to 5. Both days. Both days. So, like, the first day I was there at, at 8 o'clock, and so, I mean, I didn't leave till 6, so it was a full day event. Um, the next day, I could skip the, the preview on Sunday. Right. So it was 10 o'clock until about, after I won the binder, I was just like, well, there's nothing else I want. So I kind of skated out. Right. And we went to dinner early, and at 6 o'clock, they were just finishing up. So, I mean, it was a lo even longer day on yeah. Sunday. So <clears throat> it was but um, it was a good weekend. It was nice it was to good. get away. It was, good, it was yeah. nice to be safe. Yeah. Um, and uh, Get some fresh air. Yes. So. Yes. All right, what else? Anything else? I think that's it for this week. Do you have anything? Oh, we do have, um, I know, you hate it when we talk about things we don't have yet. I like to do it just to mess with you. Uh, we do have the two new Sailor State inks on the way to yes. us. Yes, okay. Yep. They have been ordered. They are on the site. Do the back in stock notice. They might even uh, be coming today. So there are two new uh, State inks by Sailor. <laughs> they are Pennsylvania. And Florida. Okay, great. What is Florida? Blood orange. <laughs> really reddish orange. You're going to ask me about Pennsylvania. Steel mm. blue. Okay, great. Awesome. I think. They're nice colors. <laughs> they are. <laughs> well, Sailor Ink is fantastic. Yes, absolutely. Um, I it do comes, like... It comes in a 30 mil bottle. I do like... The 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 state series it's just fun mm -hmm. um we had a uh zoom meeting with the owner of um the distributor toya, toya not yeah. too long ago and we're like we need wisconsin yeah so i just hope wisconsin's not gonna be like some kind of yellowy cheesy kind of color i hope it'll be nice nice uh, green we, we nice asked blue. for not yellow yeah so, not yellow yeah. i guess anything other than yellow would be great. <laughs> thanks appreciate the consideration um robin's egg blue is Robin our state bird? It is our state bird. That okay. would be great. So, yeah. right. uh, so the two new state inks uh, are coming this week, and uh, that's exciting. Um, new ink colors are always fun. Yes, we have a lot of them. So we got a lot to choose from this week, and uh, yep, we'll uh, we'll get working on that. So, there all right. Uh, thanks for joining us. Tune in next time for more talk about <laughs> pens, ink, and paper. Uh, follow our blog for news, ink reviews, um, all sorts of other announcements. And check us out on social media as Anderson Pens. Um, like this video and subscribe to the channel. We'll see you next time. Bye.